If you're looking for a quick refresher on how to move cameras, then this video is probably not for you. Um, what this video moreover is about how to get good at moving controls, especially for uh, an entry level artist who's not used to things like ZBrush or might have come from uh, Maya or Blender. I'm going to go over camera controls in ZBrush, which is notoriously difficult when you first start out. It's very, very confusing. It doesn't feel natural, uh, especially if you come from a 3D application background like Maya Blender, which uses a mouse to orientate the camera. In ZBrush, we're using the graphics tablet a lot to do sculpting. So we need a convenient solution to move around um, the object with the graphics tablet. So what I usually say to people who find it difficult is really do try and ace the camera controls first because that's going to feed into all types of learning you know when you're when you're brushing or if you're trying to make a, a face for example if you're already having issues rotating around the object it's going to make the entire ZBrush learning experience really really difficult so uh, how do you get used to that how do you get used to anything you know if you're playing a first person shooter you'll do practices or you might do call outs or rotations so when coming into ZBrush um, I like to teach people to practice it so get used to morphing the camera in in certain ways and achieving a uh, full kind of fluidity when you're moving around it and that means when you start to learn the brushes when you start to learn anatomy you're not getting held back uh, and making that process uh, long and arduous just because you don't know how to rotate around so how do we do that we go into practice mode um, and during this practice, I'll call out the keys just uh, and I'll slowly introduce them one by one. So you start to understand how things can work out and also give um, entry tips and mistakes that I see a lot of times, which make moving around really, really difficult. So a good thing to practice on is if you press a comma on the keyboard, that's going to bring up something called a spotlight and sort of like all your brushes. Here we've got demo head female. This is nice because you can personalize it with a, a sort of orientation. The first movement that you'll have is hopefully you've got a graphics tablet. When you click off the object itself, we call this the, the canvas space or like the empty space. Anytime you click and hold in there, you're going to have um, a rotation that happens. So that's a left click or just a, a normal graphics tablet point. If you're holding it and moving it, you'll see that it's kind of whizzing it around. Um, if you whiz it around a lot and then bring it back to your center, it will try and recenter it perfectly. But it, as you can see, it's um, gone off slightly. This is a feature that just said brush does. So the first thing I try and get used to is the rotations. Um, and now my tip for this is think about small little feathers. So it's clicking and letting go, clicking and letting go. So if I was going to rotate this around, I'm dragging from the right to the left and just uh, whizzing it around. Think about, you know, if I was going to use my finger to to rotate this in real life, I do little, um, you know, turns of pages sort of like rotating it. So you can do that uh, up to down. So that's going to rotate it this way. Uh, and the first thing I do is just get used to rotating like this. Um, once you've got used to that, I just try and do diagonals, just get used to that bit and see how you can reorient um, your camera. Maybe you want your ear to be like this, um, then we can go upwards and now we're left to the side. If at any point you get a bit lost, you can click and hold and then press shift. And what this is going to do is going to lock to an axis. So in combination with what we've just previously learned, just moving around with little strokes and increments, um, that's sort of accurate, but I do want it to be flat. In this case, I'll click hold and then hold shift and then that's going to snap it back to our orientation and then I can let go and restart with where I want to go with it. So the next one is when you are moving and rotating, you might find that the object gets off center to the screen. So what we can do is we can hold alt and click. And so alt and click is going to move this around the screen. And then if we let go of alt, we can go back to our normal click and rotate. So the next the next stage is using those in combination. So while I'm rotating, it's off center. So I'm just going to press Alt, click, bring it back to the center and then continue with uh, my rotation practice with the small brush increments. So once you've practiced that, you know, um, varying between them, you're going to be pressing Alt a lot when you're in ZBrush. It's kind of feathering it on, feathering it off. The next one is zooming. So Zooming is very difficult. You probably won't wouldn't have seen it before. So when we're using Alt, that's kind of like our primary key for, for moving the camera around like this. 
um, ZBrush is sort of a way of keeping your finger on Alt, but also being able to zoom in at the same time with a graphics tablet. So it's quite a hard solution. Um, what they've come up with is that when you're clicking and you're rotating around, if you hold Alt and then let go of Alt while still holding the click down, it's going to zoom in and out with your mouse. So going over that again, the process is stage one is that you're clicking. So you're clicking like you would be rotating normally. And then the second stage is you're holding Alt and then you're letting go of Alt and that's going to bring it into this sort of orientation. So stage one is moving around off the canvas with no buttons. Stage two is holding Alt and then using the clicker to pan around. Now while I'm panning around, I might want to hold the clicker down and then let go of Alt and now it's put me into zoom mode. So with all those combined, what I'd practice doing is going, okay, I want to zoom into the eye. How do I do that? Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is gonna orient the camera. So I've got the eye sort of in the center. When I zoom in, it's gonna be targeted. I can alt click, second stage, click down on the canvas and then let go of alt. And now I can zoom, zoom in and out. Um, it can get a bit difficult when you're super zoomed in because there's not much canvas here remaining for you to do your movement objects uh, options. So if I was painting here, obviously I can't move the camera. I can only move camera off, camp, um, off canvas. If I was super, super zoomed in, fortunately there's a little space on the outside of the canvas which is always um, reserved for movement controls. So I can come out here, hold Alt, hold click, let go of Alt and then zoom back out again. Um, if at any time you're too zoomed in or you want to reset, what you can do is press F and that's uh, going to frame the entire object. So get used to um, studying those movement controls, using the snapping, uh, zooming in and out and getting used to framing it back to where it was. Um, I'd suggest, you know, giving about an hour or two to practice this, especially with a head so you can understand things like orientations. Um, there might be occasions where you're stuck in awkward positions. Um, so how do I get out of those positions without frustrating myself to high hell? Um, you know, just using the basic little strokes with rotation and then maybe combining that with a shift to bring it back to our original orientation. So continue with the practice and then you can move on to more complicated things like uh, anatomy and brushes.